news. Today is Tuesday, May 14th. I'm Shada. And I'm Lydia. Today for lunch we'll be having pasta with meat sauce or barbecue shredded pork sandwich with steamed carrots and romaine salad with your choice of fruit and milk. Yum. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. To lead you in the pledge today we have the Student Council. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks for leading us in the pledge today. From the guidance office, attention seniors, if you have not yet completed the components of your graduation project and you do not have an exit interview scheduled by May 17th, you will not be permitted to attend the senior picnic. Also, your exit interview must be completed by May 24th or you will not be permitted to participate in the graduation ceremony and you will not graduate until the requirement is met. Juniors interested in running for officer position for next year, please submit your intent to Mrs. Cawthorn by Wednesday. Elections will be Friday, May 17th. Attention all freshmen and sophomores. Sophomores, Any student wishing to run for a class officer should stop by Mrs. Payne's office to obtain a petition for election. All petitions are due Friday, May 17th with elections being held next week on Tuesday. Juniors, please be aware that if you run for office, your parents are responsible for fundraising and putting on the after prom. Therefore, you may want to check with them to see if they are willing to do this before you run. The yearbook staff will be selling 2018 through 2019 yearbooks in the cafeteria during lunch Monday, May 20th through Friday, May 24th. They will cost $55. They will also be selling old yearbooks from 2014 to 2018, which will be $35. If you would like to purchase a yearbook, please bring cash or a check made out to CP Yearbook any day during the last week of school. Boys basketball grades 7th through 11th will be starting open gyms tonight and on Thursday, May 17th from 7 to 9 p.m. Any boys interested in playing basketball next year should attend so we can play in practices. Sign-ups for the fall sports are now posted outside of the athletic director's office. Fall sports that are available are volleyball, cross country, junior high and high school volleyball, football, girls, junior high basketball, and soccer. The first day for official practices is August 12th. You must have a complete packet including a physical and order form to practice. You can pick the white packet outside the elastic op <laughs> athletic office. Physicals will be given at the school on June 7th and June 14th. See Mrs. Payne to schedule your appointment. Now here's the weather for today. I outran that rain. Oh wait, it's gonna rain again today. Ah! Anyway, today we'll have a high of 60 and a low of 44. For the rest of the week, guess what? It's gonna rain. It's Pennsylvania, it always rains, deal with it. And the temperature is gonna go from high 60s to low 60s, but that's okay. On this day in history, May 14th, 1796, English physician Edward Jenner gave the first successful smallpox vaccination. In 1897, macaroni, <laughs> macaroni sent something like that, sent the first communication by wireless telegraph. In 1897, Stars and Stripes Forever by John Philip Sousa was performed for the first time in Philadelphia. You know, I'm pretty sure that's Pilata's favorite song, so one of you should go in his room and play it for him. Thanks, Hunter. Good luck to the softball team at their away game today versus Lakeview. The game starts at 4.15. That's all we have for today. I'm Lydia. And I'm Shada. Tune in tomorrow for more Calder Prairie news.